Hey, welcome to Cranky Geeks. Oh, I'm sorry, I mean X3. It's kind of our new substitute for Cranky Geeks. Uh, I'm here, this, by the way, X3 stands for one topic, three pundits, myself included. I'm also here with Andrew Eisner and Joe Ingo. And we're going to discuss a little bit uh, about the new Ultra Books from Intel, the uh, big Computex show, and some of the other things that have been shown there, uh, which is on right now. I should be there, but I, I've been there before. You've been there. I've been there about five times I've been to that show. Yeah. Uh, it's a, it's, I think it's probably one of the better shows to go to, except for the fact that uh, it's a long way and it's you know, time consuming. Yeah. And you get and it's overcovered, so I'm not too concerned about missing anything. Yeah, plenty of people there reporting on it, and uh, including this uh, Ultrabook, which I'm not sure <laughs> I think is the greatest name. I mean, Intel is famous for coming up with these names like MIDS, you know, and Ultra Compact. PCs and, and Ultra oh. Ultrabook. <laughs> they like Ultra. <laughs> yeah, okay. So uh, basically it's just a small laptop, but you know, Intel is really... Well, they say the one that they're showing is at the Computex is very similar to a MacBook Air. No kidding. Thin. Yeah. That, that's yeah. how they're classifying thin. this new Ultra as a MacBook Air style. You know, yeah. Very thin, very yeah. lightweight. But is it going to be the same screen size, 11 to 13 inch, or what? Do we know? We don't know. That, that's what it's looking like. It's going to be about that same. Well, that's not a, that's a. That sounds like a, a product that's a winner. Yeah, they're, they're, I mean, that's a trend. All the, the you know, basically the net, new netbook is an ultrabook. <laughs> you know, it's small, light, has a long battery life, low power. You know, the well, bad graphics. Well, netbooks are supposed and, to be low cost, cheaply made. That's yeah, right. you know, these won't be cheap. that low cost. That's yeah. true. Well, I have right. an HP. I'm looking at an HP DM1, which mm -hmm. is kind of like a, in between in between yeah. this and that, yeah. and it is uh, only 500 bucks, yeah. which seems like... Yeah, but these are going to be about 1100 bucks, just like the Mac. So it's going to be expensive. Yeah, they're going to be expensive, but they're going to be ultra-portable. Yeah. And, the and ultra uh, that wasn't actually the only thing that Intel announced. They, you know, Intel is so far out in front, they first they announced... That Sandy Bridge is just out, you know, they had a little <laughs> snag with the processor, but... Well, no, it wasn't yeah, the processor. It was, it was the co-processor, right. or whatever. It was but, the but then they chips. announced Ivy Bridge, which yeah, is a successor heard about to Sandy Bridge. And now they, at, at Computex, they announced a successor to Ivy Bridge, which is called Haswell. So smaller. <laughs> Haswell. What's Haswell mean? I don't know what the heck Haswell at least they didn't is. bring out a chip called Hasbin. <laughs> yeah, that's true. But but the chip wars are getting interesting. You know, Intel's going against ARM, and and, and meanwhile, AMD is actually taking some market share away from Intel. Yeah, AMD's but, uh, got a, a slew of new things yeah. that are kind of interesting. But uh, so there were some other interesting things at Computex. Um, one was a pad phone from Asus, and just briefly, this is a device sort of like that um, Atrix, but you open up a little flap in the back of the tablet and dock your smartphone in right, there. Right, and, and, and then is that got, the processor for the tablet? Uh, you know, that's a good question. I'm not sure. Because it was the Motorola device, I think. Yeah, I believe yeah, that's the, they well, the Motorola device it is. But, uh, the, so how's this sure different than the Motorola device? Well, it's a nice, clever package, you know, and you can sync your smartphone with your tablet. I'm not sure which one r runs which, but uh, it's a, it's a, it was a clever device as a mock-up. And then, uh, so, so speaking... So instead of syncing your tablet to your PC and then syncing your phone to your PC, yeah. now you're syncing your PC or your right. tablet during the Forget your phone. PCs. This is the post-PC era. <laughs> <laughs> PCs are gone. So we're willing. Now, if you want to run Adobe Photoshop, <laughs> I know. Well, that's why I know. you have a Mac. Yeah. No, you don't have a Mac. In fact, I was just shopping for a desktop, and I said, well, maybe I should consider a Mac. So I mean, I, first I got Did a you Dell, buy and, some? and the, the thing you can get, what you can get for a Dell for fifteen hundred dollars is just incredible. I yeah. Mean, you know. yeah but then you're and right then I went those. to the Apple site, and it's like, okay, I'm going to get a, a nice Mac desktop, or it's going to cost me over three thousand dollars. So uh, I mean, still, that's the problem with the Macs is they're they're too expensive, nice machines, but. Expensive. Well, if you're gonna, I think of a Mac. No offense to our Mac, <laughs> no our Mac fanboy oh, yeah. sitting here, is the uh, Mac. If, I mean, certain things uh, like um, Final Cut Pro and the yeah. video editing. I mean, it's crazy yeah, not to true. use a Mac. Have you seen uh, Final Cut X, the, the new version that's going to be coming out in a few months? It oh. looks really, really slick. So they completely redid the interface for Final yeah. Cut, and they they made it a little bit more prosumer level, and uh, it looks really, really slick. I can't oh. wait to see it. It's going to be way cheaper too. It's going to be only like three hundred bucks compared to like two thousand or whatever that was previously. Three hundred bucks? About that. Yeah. Is it going to have the same yeah. power? Uh, yeah, but actually, one of the great things is that it does background rendering now. So as you're like editing a scene or whatnot, it's actually rendering in the background. We have our producer over here. This <laughs> is extremely away. excited He's about dying that. over the fact that uh, he won't have to use the old version, which is very difficult to use. Well, uh -huh. anybody who's done editing, yeah. they, they know how much time it takes to actually 
Yeah, no, I, I actually used to do editing, and I yeah. gave up on it because it takes you a, a, about an hour to do one minute. That's right. I mean, if you're really yeah. going to edit something well, and you yeah. have 30 well, minutes, first it takes, takes 30 hours. First it, it takes, takes eight hours week. to relearn how to use the program <laughs> if you haven't used it for a week. <laughs> I think video editing is, uh, yeah. I don't know, it's, uh, it's for the youth. Yeah. <laughs> they have lots of time on their hands. Yeah. <laughs> so NVIDIA looks like they got something, uh, the quad core yeah, Kal El. Is that what? Is, this or, is uh, really. Yeah, what, what is the name? Kal El. Why is this from? a What's is Superman? It? Superman. Yeah, yeah, I thought it was Superman. Kal I thought it was either I Superman Kal or. Was he, was he a bad guy? <laughs> Kal no, Kal El was his real name. Or was this his father's name? I forget. I don't know. It's but one of anyway. related Superman, Superman <laughs> references on chips now. Are they yeah. run out of material? Well, NVIDIA, you know, wants to be the uh, the super chip. So, but this demo is really very impressive. That the Extremely the, the uh, this real time cool. graphics the performance of Kal -El. processing. This is the first time this is really impressive. Yeah. Physics. I mean, you know, now, look let's at, talk a little bit about all that. Cool you know, whatever the ray the tracing and all lights. that stuff. You know, I know it was a big deal past. years ago. Yeah, it was a big deal, but now, I <laughs> now mean, this is cool. on a, this is going to be in your tablet or your smartphone. Yeah. It's really pretty impressive. You should watch the demo. It's the ball rolling around that's lighted, and it goes through curtains and makes the curtains flap and wave. And it's really very, uh, very impressive. Well, NVIDIA is definitely on top of the graphics situation right now. Yeah. Although, uh, AMD is not too far yeah, behind. No, it's but great, AMD you know. is incorporating a lot of it in their, you know. With the ATI stuff, yeah. So I don't know. It's going to be interesting. At least there's competition yeah. going on, which yeah, is yeah. all we care about. I mean, based right. on seeing that demo, I mean, it's, it's really very clear that within the next couple of years, we're going to see smartphones that are actually just as powerful as your typical console right now. Be. I mean, it's pretty close right now, but you know, with this with this new chip, it definitely brings it even yeah. closer. And Intel claims they have one. Theirs, their chip is better than their new chips are better than Kal El's even. So Intel. Yeah. So and well, they then, have they have been well, but their they've power been, consumptions are going to be. They've yeah. been in the back of the pack when it comes to. Uh, well, actually, the new their new emphasis on low power. This Haswell is down in the you know five to ten, fifteen watts, and so it's all uh, they're t they're talking about making fanless computers. That's the new emphasis on the new chips. Low power. Don't I'm putting a hands. machine together now, which I'm going to, uh, there will be pictures available. I'm going to, I've, I have to do one of two things. Sure. One is either going to be mounted piece by piece on the wall oh, I see. With, right. uh, with lit uh, connectors. Uh -huh. That's and nice. they, uh, if it's, or it's going to be hanging off a block of wood wow. and floating, free floating <laughs> with the, you know, all the, again, lit, yeah. lit How about even better? Why don't you yeah. take some fishing line yeah, and just right. hang it from the that, ceiling? This would be floating point. This would be the hanging from the ceiling. Floating point process, matter of fact. Is that it? So, yeah, floating <laughs> point. Uh, the problem I'm still dealing with is the getting the, the uh, CD-ROM drive so it's in some stable situation oh, yeah. so, so it's not button rolling around that's like right. this. That's right, it'd be hard to load it. Right? And, but anyways, well, that's why if, if you hang it, you know, suspend it like yeah. this and then put four pieces of fishing line just holding it from the, the ceiling, that would be perfect. Yeah. It just looks like everything's just If you push there. the button on the CD-ROM, my concern is it's <laughs> going to be moving. Yeah, it might do a little bit of rocking, but that could yeah. be kind of interesting. Yeah, yeah well, I, well the, the other thing is, is the, uh, with the, the, talking about fanless, this thing I'm using, which is a big uh, i7 yeah. board from Intel, which, by the way, and Intel has, I, I checked with Intel about this, yeah. is that they have they they certify the boards for free open standing uh, RF yeah. generation. So in other words, the boards don't give off a lot of okay. radio waves. You know, you you don't have to be in a metal box, and they won't you know turn you know screw up everything. But it's got two fans this big wow. on the sitting on the processor yeah, yeah. on copper. Yeah. And uh, you know, and, and yeah. I suspect if it was hanging with fish weather, the fans would blow the thing. You know, <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, yeah. this is the way I think people should be building Can't machines now. This. Just yeah. open air, hanging yeah. off the wall or hanging from the yeah. ceiling, just there. Uh -huh. You know, with all the. Is uh, this going to be at SF MoMA? I mean, someday. Uh, maybe it could be. It depends <laughs> on whether I make it so it's portable. Yeah, so I can take the, the thing down with all these things uh, hanging off. We're off. seeing a, a bunch sometime. of people who posted pictures recently of mounting a machine on the wall, and this is really not that new. I mean, we're no, I, this none of this is thousand. new. Right. There's a lot computer, of people running around saying, "Oh, this is a great new thing. Look at these people are hanging their machines on the wall." We were doing this back in 2000. No, I, this has been yeah. going since the first case mod, guys. Right. I mean, I've yeah. seen machines in, in inner tubes. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can put a machine anywhere, but I'm gonna, yeah. I am want mine on the wall with okay. all the lit Did cables. Did you see one where somebody took a, uh, it was a special type of like mineral oil. They put it in the entire case, filled the entire case with mineral oil and put the machine inside yeah. of that uh -huh. for cooling. There is a, uh, that was kind of kinky to me. Well, I have seen, seen it, I, there, I've seen it de at uh, certain trade shows. I've seen these mineral oil machines where they dip the whole thing in, in wow. this. In this neutral, this oil that non-conductive yeah. oil. Yeah. You don't need a fan for it or anything because you know you just have all the liquid that just dissipates the heat. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. That's what we talk about on this show. <laughs> You've been watching X3.